we have to make sure there's no water in the cylinders before we try to start it. You can't compress water. Oil's at the proper level. Okay, clear again? Nope. Clear. The 567B uh, V16, mm -hmm. 567 cubic inches per cylinder, producing approximately uh, 1,500 horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not exactly sure what the RPMs are. Full RPMs, I believe, are about uh, 575. I think at an idle, it's, it's around about 150, 200. And we're just about ready to fire it up. Okay, fire now! Chevrolet or General Motors product. Here's the windshield from one. When General Motors built these locomotives, they weren't going to retool for anything else, so they just continued and reused anything they could from the automotive, complete with the window cranks. Right, right down to the vent windows. <laughs> it was all to save money and mass production. history about her. Uh, I do know that in 48 she was built as a General Motors demonstrator. Uh, herself 9,000, a B unit 9,003 and another A unit 9,002. Um, they were demonstrated on CN and CP. CP didn't think much of the, of the F3s. The CN thought it was the wave of the future so they purchased this particular unit. Um, another A unit and, an, and two B units and uh, they ran it I think that this unit here I believe ran up to was it 74 Jim? Yeah I believe it ran up to 72 or 74 she's had a few uh, a few oopsies in her life as in uh, where the uh, head end brakeman is sitting right now that's a new part of the cab the original part was removed by a giant boulder in the mountains in the uh, early 60s. Uh, I don't know who the name of the, the at that time the fireman was sitting there. Uh, the engineer though was Jack Holmes on the Jasper. 
So that's the whole nose and everything on, on the uh, left hand side is all brand new. Or not 1940. When we got it, it was just a rust bucket. She was rusted out of the side panels, the floor was gone, the door was gone. Uh, it took a long time just to put the cab back in the shape. She was painted at that time a battleship gray, which became a, a standard Canadian national color in the late seven or in the mid seventies, and uh, we cleaned it all up again and went back to the original uh, green, which is how she came out of uh, General Motors. This is pretty much the original configuration, right back from 1948, complete with the drum reverser and the original 24 RL brake system. Um, very few left in this type of condition anymore. Right back from GM in 48. Um, it's a pretty pretty simplistic uh, instrument panel. You got your DC jet. Unit and tail on brakeman. Uh, set up the brakes, please. Over. 9,000 setting up the brakes. Okay, what we're, what we're doing right now is... 9,000, you want to run that by me again? I was the interference, sorry. What we're doing right now is we're doing a standing brake test just to make sure everything works. As I apply the brakes here, my trainman at the back is checking to ensure everything is doing what it's supposed to do.
Oh, 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 oh,